Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be a look at a new bag from BankQuest. This is the Skitch 15 Messenger bag, and I actually have it on right now, so you guys will be able to see what it looks like in a minute. But I wanted to start off the video by stating that um, I prefer backpacks uh, as far as uh, EDC bags um, or bags to carry my gear in. So when I received this bag to test it out, uh, it took a little getting used to, but after a couple months of using it on and off and in different scenarios, I became quickly uh, accustomed to it. Um, it fits a lot of gear. It's very modular, which is one thing that I really do enjoy. Uh, there are a couple of different accessories that you can add or take away from it to make it more your own. And for the most part, it's a very comfortable bag to carry. So what I'll do is I'll pan the camera down so you guys can take a look at the bag itself. And then uh, we'll go through the different features and options of it, okay? So here it is. And as you guys can see, again, this is a messenger style bag. So it's something that you would wear um, slung across one of your shoulders. This particular one is in the wolf gray color, which I really do enjoy that color. Um, as far as a, um, a regular everyday bag, it definitely doesn't stick out. It doesn't scream tactical, which is another really awesome feature of this bag itself. So um, here it is the bag. I'll go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys a little bit of the features of the bag itself. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the bag. Uh, a couple of specs on the bag itself. Uh, it is uh, made up of 1000D military grade Cordura, and it's also been treated with uh, Teflon fabric protector to make it water repellent. And so it's definitely going to hold up to whatever usage you can put it through. Uh, all the zippers are YKK zippers, and the tracks have actually been inverted to make it uh, a little bit more water resistant. Uh, all of the buckles are UTX Duraflex buckles, so they're definitely going to um, hold up to any abuse, banging it around or anything like that. For the most part, the bag feels very, very sturdy. The construction is very nice. Um, all the seams are nice and tapered. Uh, all the stitching is, is very well done. Uh, even the paracord pulls on the zippers themselves are very functional, very useful. You know, allows you to, you know, stick your finger in there and go ahead and open up the, uh, the zipper uh, and it runs really smoothly on the track. Um, this is something that I really do enjoy from VanQuest. Uh, I think they definitely put a lot of uh, effort into making sure that every piece of gear uh, is very functional and it's going to hold up to the prolonged usage. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the outside of the bag, I'll show you some of the features, and then uh, we'll transition into the inside of the bag and how it's used. Uh, we'll start at the top here. You have a nicely padded neoprene handle, which makes it very, very comfortable to um, carry the bag around if you wanted to carry it by there. Uh, again, the bag itself can be designed to um, fit different types of roles. So if you're gonna be using this maybe for work as a briefcase, you know, you are able to go ahead and carry it through there. If it's sitting like maybe behind your driver's seat on your vehicle, it's very easy to pull out and you're good to go. In the front right here of the flap, you do have a nice sizable loop field for Velcro morale patches. So as you guys can see, I have a couple of them there, but also on the very top, you have a row of Molly. So if you do want to attach a separate pouch or something like that to the flap itself, you can do so. Uh, the, back, the flap is secured right now with uh, a pair of the UTX Duraflex buckles. Um, they are very positive retention, as you guys can see. Uh, very sturdy, so they're not going to break. They're not going to go anywhere. Nice uh, box stitching and cross stitching on, on everything, so it's going to hold it nice and secure. Go ahead and look at the back. In the back, you have a um, pass-through sleeve right here. And basically what this is, is designed so if you're using the bag maybe while you're traveling if you do have like a rolling suitcase or something like that the handle of the suitcase when it comes up can actually be fed through here and now the bag can rest on the suitcase and you can lug both of them around uh, very easily the carry shoulder strap is also very comfortable to use it's nice and wide so it's going to distribute the weight very nicely you do also have this uh uh, padding here, which is, makes it a lot a lot more comfortable when you are carrying the bag, um, you know, fully loaded out. If you're carrying a lot of stuff in there, this definitely uh, plays a big role in that. Now, the way that the strap is attached to the bag itself is in uh, this two-stage Velcro system here. Basically, you have this wide attachment point, and if you unvelcro it once. And then unvelcro it again. You can go ahead and remove the shoulder strap if you wanted to. Again, if you're going to be doing, uh, like I mentioned before, maybe carrying it as a briefcase for work. If not, again, you can 
just go ahead and attach the uh, the two Velcros and it's nice and secure and you do have that on both sides. On the on either side, you also have two rows of Molly webbing. Again, if you do want to attach separate pouches or something like that to it, you have the option to do that. So we'll look at some of the features of the bag. On the front right here in the flap, you have a zipper that runs the full length of the flap itself. And what that does is it allows you for quick access into the main compartment of the bag. Now this is great because uh, if you have to get in and out of this bag multiple times a day, it can be a little bit tedious to have to unbuckle and open up the flap every single time. So this way you can get in there, grab what you need to, and go ahead and pull it out and then close it back up. Now, if you guys notice, the inside of the bag does have this high visibility orange material which uh, allows for a uh, contrast with whatever the items you have in there. So it's gonna make it a lot easier to see what you have in there, be able to grab it, and you're good to go. So close that up. Towards the back, you do have another zipper that runs the full length of the bag. Uh, when you open that, this compartment has a couple of different options. You can either uh, carry a 15 and a half inch laptop in there. It's nice and padded, so it is gonna be um, very protected. But it also has um, a loop of Velcro that runs the full length of the pocket itself. And as you guys can see, this makes for a great concealed carry pocket. Um, it is on the outside of the bag, so the only zipper that you would have to go through is this one right here. It's nice and close to your body because this is the part that would normally face your body. Um, right now, I have my Glock 23 in uh, the concealed carry holster by Vanquist, and then I have just uh, two spare mags, again, in a double mag carrier by VanQuest in there. There is uh, tons more room, so if you did wanna maybe shift this over uh, or carry some other things in there on the sides, you can go ahead and do so as well. Again, uh, it add, further adds to the modular um, nature of this bag itself. All right, so let's take a look at the inside of the bag. Right now, the flap is secured with the two UTX buckles, so we'll go ahead and unbuckle them. And the strap itself is able to be extended so depending on what usage you're going to be giving to the bag you can go ahead and uh, feed more of the material through it and it'll make it longer and then uh, you have the retaining strap on the bottom here so if you do stretch this out you can go ahead and roll it up strap it down and you're not going to have to worry about it dangling around you know better management there is a pocket right down here which they're calling a gar a garage pocket now this pocket is designed to carry items that are more horizontal in nature, so chargers, cordage, things like that. So if you go ahead and open it up, I'll show you guys what I have in there now. I just have a knife, I have a bundle of 550 cord, and I do have the charger for my iPhone. Uh, again, it's uh, got the high visibility orange in there, so it's gonna be very easy to, to find the items. So let's say like this one is, you know, it's a black charger, you can see the contrast there. But, you know, it, it keeps these type of items, again, cordage, chargers, things like that, very secure, uh, and they're very uh, easily accessible uh, at hand. Again, I'll... Opening up the flap reveals a couple of different pockets. Again, um, this bag is very modular. Uh, it allows you to um, distribute the different items that you would normally carry in there very, very nicely. So you have two pockets right here, um, which are both equal in length and width. Um, it carries uh, different items very easily. I have a couple pens in there, a uh, business card holder, and then I have uh, an extra set of glasses in there. You do have a second pocket on this side, which runs the full um, length of this particular area of the bag, and it is able to be accessed through either side. So depending on how you're carrying your bag, left or right hand, uh, you can go ahead and get in there and get the items that you have there. Right in the back here, you have a Velcro loop here, and then one behind it that's holding close this other pocket. And this pocket right here is similar to the one in the front, just a little bit wider and a little bit deeper. And you do have the ability to Velcro it down if you have items that you don't want maybe to come out or anything like that. Um, right now, I just have a poncho and an emergency blanket. And then on this side, I just have uh, one of the quick uh, granola with milk and blueberry mountain house foods. And then in the front, you do have this area which you're able to put other items. So you guys can see, I do have a, uh, a flashlight in there that I'm reviewing also. So that pocket is easily secured by attaching the Velcro right there. And your items are gonna be nice and secure. They're not gonna be moving around or anything like that. Go ahead and 
there it is. Now, as you guys can see here, there are two more strips of Velcro, which are actually covered up right now. You can go ahead and take this out. And uh, what this does is it gives you, um, again, more ways of using this particular bag. So you do have the two buckles that secure the flap closed if you wanted to, but towards the top of the flap, you have these um, sets of Velcro. So what you can do is you can actually remove that strip. So now it exposes the Velcro side and then just Velcro it down. It's gonna go ahead and be secured. So if, again, if it's a type of bag that you're gonna be getting in and out of regularly, uh, maybe you don't wanna use the buckles, you can go ahead and use that. You can just open it up and you know you gain access to the bag itself. All right, onto the main compartment of the bag. Uh, as you guys can see, it is nice and wide, very deep. It allows you to carry a lot of different items um, depending on height and width very easily because it is one big compartment. Uh, you do have the orange high visibility interior, so it's very easy to see in there. You also have uh, two separate pockets in the back here, which allow you to stow smaller items that maybe you don't want them moving around. And uh, it does have Velcro closure on the top, so they'll be nice and secure. There is a full length of uh, Velcro strip on the inside also. So if you do wanna add uh, other modular accessories to, um, to further manage your gear, you're able to do so. Right now, I just have my uh, MacBook Air in there. I have an iPad mini and just a, a T-shirt. Again, uh, just depending on how you're gonna be carrying this, uh, you're able to go ahead and customize it to your usage. Now, Vanquist states that the Skitch 15 Messenger has four specific carry modes that will allow it to mold to whatever usage you're gonna be doing. So the first one is the short carry mode, which is the one that you see here. And that's your more uh, traditional messenger style bag. Now this will allow for up to 18 liters of uh, carry space in it. The second carry mode is a medium carry mode, which is done by um, removing the covers right here on the Velcro loop and using the top portion of the Velcro pad on here on the flap to go ahead and close it down. Now what this does is it gives you 22 liters of capacity on the bag, but it also retains the ability to keep out water and dirt. Um, it also gives you quick access to the pocket right here, which can also double as a CCW pocket because you are able to uh, gain access through either way. It does have the loop Velcro field in there, so if you do want to attach your CCW holster, you're able to do that. And again, that is the medium carry mode. The third carry mode is the tall carry mode which now offers you 31 liters of capacity. And that's done by extending the straps all the way and then attaching them to the UTX Duraflex buckles. Now this does now expose the pockets on the front. So that's always something to keep in mind, but it will give you up to 19.5 inches of height to carry items inside and still have a flap covering the items that are on the inside. The last carry mode is the open top carry mode. Now this will obviously accommodate any items that are longer than the bag itself because the top of the bag is open so they can protrude towards the top. What you do is you go ahead and attach the buckles on the outside to keep some manage on the flap itself, but you're able to carry items in there that you would normally not be able to carry on your standard messenger style bags. I believe on the website they show um, a gentleman carrying some FedEx boxes, some long document boxes and things like that. So if that's uh, what you would need, you're able to go ahead and do that. And again, these straps will manage the flap so it's not just moving around. One accessory that I highly recommend to complement your Skitch 15 messenger bag is Vanquist's drop-in organizer. This organizer is made of 410D water repellent ripstop nylon. It does have their box and cross stitching all over the place. It's nice and padded, so it will keep your items very secure. On the inside, you do have the high visibility orange interior, which allows you to quickly see what you have in there. You have YKK zippers across the two hidden pockets on the side, which uh, the channels are reversed, so it's dust and water repellent. You have these nice padded dividers that are able to be attached on either side via these Velcro panels. So what this does is it gives you the ability to go ahead and set up this bag or this insert 
um, to whatever it is that you're going to be doing. So whether you're going to be using it to carry maybe camera equipment, um, maybe you're going to be using it to, the, to go to the range and you want to separate your different ammo and different accessories, you're able to go ahead and remove these and reposition them uh, the way that you want to. Also with the Velcro on the inside, you're able to attach uh, other type of accessories to further manage your gear. So once you open up either one of these uh, hidden pockets, you do have two rows of loop Velcro in there as well. And I'll show you guys, here is my CCW in the VanQuest holster. So you can go ahead and just drop it in there and it'll secure on the Velcro. Go ahead and close that side, turn it around and go ahead and open this side. And here is the double magazine holster. Again, go ahead and secure it. And now I have both of them nice, nicely tucked away. So if I were to be using this for the range, I can go ahead and drop some ammo boxes in there, maybe some hearing protection. It's nice and divided. Everything has its own spot and it has these nice grab handle. Now this package, I can go ahead and insert it inside of the Skitch 15 messenger bag, if that's the role that it's gonna be playing for that day. Once I'm done, I can go ahead and just remove this, set it to the side, and keep using the bag for whatever other purpose I need to. It also has the UTX Duraflex hardware on the side here, so if you do wanna attach uh, a strap to it and go ahead and use it, uh, on its own, you can go ahead and do so as well. And then you have these nice thick grab handles on there, which allow you to carry it too. On the bottom, you do have a row of Velcro. So once you do drop it into the bag, it'll go ahead and attach itself to there and it's not gonna be moving around. So definitely this is a great accessory to pick up to again, complement the Skitch 15 messenger bag. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it took a little getting used to because I'm not normally a messenger bag style guy. I normally carry a backpack as far as EDC purposes. But you know, once I, I started using the bag uh, and saw uh, how beneficial it was to be able to transition the different roles that the bag can play um, from your normal everyday carry bag to a range bag to um, something uh, you know like a travel bag, uh, I quickly fell in love with it. Uh, it's very useful, very easy to carry, and just the ability to be able to customize it to carry different items of height, width, length, things like that, it definitely makes it very invaluable. The construction is great, just as any other VanQuest product is. And for the most part, I think it's very well worth the $150 uh, price tag that they asked for it on their website. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check it out. Um, I think for the most part, if you do carry a messenger style bag now, this is one that is gonna feel right at home, but it's gonna give you a lot more options. If you don't, uh, I would still say, go ahead and test it out, because again, it's, um, it's something that will adapt to your style of usage and to your life. I'll go ahead and pan down once more so you guys can see the bag itself. There it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions.